Hi, it's Lucia Sullivan um, from my Sullivan Archery and I also compete for Great Britain and today I'm going to give you a little home workout. <laughs> through a warm-up we're gonna do the lower body and the upper body and just doing a nice little warm-up just before we get into the main session so the first exercises we're gonna do um, are for your lower body lower limbs um, just to get the blood going we're gonna do curtsies so feet together and then all I want you to do is pop your leg to the side touch the floor and do this about 10 times each side. Make sure your hips are facing forward. And once you've done the first side, swap legs. Okay, the next part of the warm up is a side lunge. So, um, because I don't have much space in this living room, I'm gonna face this way. But what I want you to do is start with your feet together and you're gonna do 10 on one side, pushing your leg to the side, getting a nice stretch through that other leg that stays in the middle, you get a nice um, low lunge on this side and then push back to the middle. So do this about 10 times, try and get nice and low each time, pushing back to the middle and then when you've done one side, swap to the other side. So we've done the lower body, we're now going to move to the upper body and all good archers should have a band with them, whether it's this type of band, this type of band that you get from physios, or my new favourite is this band which I got on Amazon, um, which is a fabric band. Um, today for the warm up, I'm just going to use the physio band. Uh, we're going to do external rotations. So this one works your rotator cuffs, which for archers does tend to get a bit overused. And what we're going to do is hold our hands to the side of our body. So keeping our elbows in 90 degrees and then you're just going to expand your arms out and away from the center line of the body so do this about 10 times or 30 seconds really squeezing those back muscles together squeezing your rotator cuffs together and the last part of the warm-up just for the arms we're going to do a frontal raise so pop one foot on i'm using this band today but you can use any band that you'd like um, and all i want you to do is shoulders back chest up and then you're going to lift your arms up as high as they'll go up and down so you don't even need to go far because this resistance is quite a lot if you find that it is too much you could just do one arm at a time and for a frontal raise go up in front of your body through the midline. So that's warm up done. Now what we're gonna do is go into the proper part of the session. This should take about 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pair a leg exercise with an upper body exercise or an upper body exercise with a core exercise. So the first one, one of my all time favorites, rear foot elevated split squat or Bulgarian split squat, or sofa split squat. Pop your foot on the sofa, hop forward just a little bit to give yourself some clearance, and then aim to get your knee on the floor so you're in a split squat position. Everything's at 90 degrees. Stand up, pop down, stand up, pop down. Now if you're a runner, you will always go opposite hand, opposite leg. So up, down, down. So do this 10 times one side and then when you're done swap legs, do it the other side. Part two of the exercises for this little superset, we're going to do press ups. Now this looks a bit weird, it's a foam roller so usually you use it for rolling out the tight muscles but today we're going to aid your press ups with this. So I want you to put this down on the floor Pop your hands either side of the foam roller, push your feet away so you're in a high plank, spread your feet apart if you're a beginner, and then aim to get your chest down to the foam roller and push up. When you go up, breathe out. Okay. 
if you're a beginner, pop your knees on the floor and do the same thing. So the second part of the exercises, we're going to do biceps first. So we're going to use this band. Again, you can use any band you wish. And what I'm going to do is just pop one foot in the middle, keep my elbows to the side of my body. And we're going to do bicep curls. So bring your knuckles up towards your shoulders, curling up and down. Make sure you don't let your shoulders hunch forward. Keep them back, chest up, heart up and curl. So the second exercise for this little pairing, um, we're going to do cushion planks. Um, now these wobble cushions, I actually use them for archery for standing on, so you can actually get two and use them for balance, but today we're going to use them for a plank. So um, these are from Amazon uh, and you can get them online anywhere else. Pop the spiky part down, pop your forearms on the cushion and then push your legs away so you're in a plank position. Squeeze your shoulder blades and your heart towards the cushion, tuck in your tailbone, squeeze your tummy, and hold the plank. So the next pairing of exercises, we're gonna start off with legs again. The first one, I'm gonna use this band that I got again on Amazon, you can get it anywhere else online. We're gonna pop this just above the knees, so step in and pull it up above the knees. I'm gonna do squats. And what this does is it aids the gluteus medius to stabilize the lower back, the glutes. So with people that have lower back problems, this will really, really help you. With the squat, we're gonna go feet hip width apart, turn the toes out slightly, knees pushed out, and then I want you to sit down into an Asian squat, squeeze your bottom on the way up, sit down, stand up. If you're new to this, what you can do is sit on the sofa. So you can go towards the sofa. Again, using the band will just help activate that muscle. And all I want you to do, sit back, touch the sofa and stand up. Squeeze your bottom or pinch a penny as I like to say, on the way up. And for the second part of this grouping of exercises, we're going back to upper body. We're going to do overhead press, but we're going to use our band. So any band that you've got, pop your foot in the middle, pop your hands to the side of your body, so you're keeping your elbows in, and then when you breathe out, push. Suck in your tummy, push, and push. In the last exercises today, we're going to focus on our core and our shoulders. So we're going to start off with a plank shoulder touch or a high plank so shoulder touch. So start with your hands on the floor, go into a high plank position. And today, have your feet apart, hands together, so that you keep your tummy nice and your hips nice and still. Then you're just going to move opposite hand to opposite shoulder without moving your hips. And the last exercise for today really, really focuses on the core. What you're going to do is you're going to lie with your back flat on the floor. You're going to prop your legs up in the air, straight legs if you can, and then you're going to touch your toes. Now, I've got quite long arms and quite short legs, so it's easy for me. If your hamstrings are hurting, just bend your knees slightly. And if you cannot touch your toes, that's fine. Just go up as high as you can. So well done today, guys. Keep an eye on the Archery GB Facebook page and Instagram pages where I'll be doing some more Workout Wednesdays.